But now let's talk about how to reshape an array. So for example, suppose that here is an array which is called X and it has six numbers in it. And now suppose that I want to reshape this one dimensional array so we can verify that this is a one dimensional array. So if I run a code, you can see the number of dimensions of X is one. So suppose that I want to convert the shape of this one dimensional array to a two by three matrix. So in order to do so, I can simply type X dot reshape because I want to reshape the X array into a, for example, a two by three matrix. So I pass two by three. And remember, you can pass that in a tuple manner as well. So let's sort the results in a variable, let's say called Y. And now if I print the Y variable, and if I run a code, you can see here is the output and we have converted the X array into a two by three matrix. And also let's take another example. Suppose that I want to change the shape to a three by two. So if I run a code, you can see it's a three by two matrix. But remember, you can pass, for example, three by three because the initial array, which is X, has only six elements. So you cannot convert it to a array to an array which which needs nine elements. So a three by three array, a three by three matrix needs nine elements. So you have only six elements. So it is not possible to reshape X to this shape. So if you run a code, you will get error because it is very obvious that it is not possible to convert the X array to this shape. But as you can see, the values inside of this matrix has been filled in row-wise manner. What do I mean by row-wise? I mean we have filled the first row, then the second row, then the third row, and etc. But what if we want to fill the values in column-wise manner? I mean first the first column, then the second column, then the third column, and etc. So if you want to do so, I mean if you want to fill the values inside this matrix in column-wise manner, you can pass another argument which is called order for filling, and you can pass F which means Fortran style. So if you run a code, you can see we have filled the values inside this matrix in column-wise manner. So you can see one, two, the first column, then the second column, three and four, and then the third column. And if you want to restore that, you can pass a C in order to fill the values in row-wise manner. So if you run a code, you can see here's the output. And because the default value for the order is C, I mean row-wise manner, so if you want to fill the values in row-wise manner, you can delete this because the default behavior is row-wise. So now if I run a code, you can see we get the same output. But in future videos, we're going to talk about two special kinds of reshape, which are very important, especially in machine learning. So now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.